clinical trials are key for us to advance uh, really the, the care of patients with cancer. And what a clinical trial is, is comparing what the standard of care is to something new that looks more promising. And that could be a new drug, it could be a new strategy for management of patients, a new combination of treatments. Uh, but it's the only way we really advance the care and advance the management of patients and improve the, the outcomes for patients with cancer. Really, it's all patients with cancer can potentially benefit. And it's not just the individual himself or herself that's being treated for cancer. The outcome of the trial can affect the management of patients uh, going forward. Um, so it can be patients that have uh, very early stage disease where the cure rate is very high. Uh, it can be, for example, uh, pediatric or childhood acute lymphoblastic leukemia, what we call ALL. 80 to 90 percent of patients are cured. But to be able to answer questions to improve the outcome even further, we need thousands of patients to be able to participate in a, in a clinical trial to really answer, answer a specific question. I'd say probably the most critical ones are those patients that have very rare cancers. One example may be sarcoma. They're exceedingly rare. And with so few patients diagnosed annually, we really, we really need those patients to participate in clinical trials to advance the care for patients with that disease. In phase one trials are often the first time a drug or an agent gets into a human. And what that means, there's a lot of questions we have to answer. One is, what's the tolerance of the drug? Um, how best to give the drug? How often to give the drug? At what dose do we give the drug? Those are the, the most early questions we ask in a clinical trial. That's considered phase one. Phase two is when we're trying to ask a question. We know how to give the drug. We know how to manage it. But the question is, where is the best response rate and who benefits the most? Those are patients with a specific target, if that agent is a targeted therapy, or a specific disease where we think is going to be the most helpful. For patients to learn about trials, they should always start with their doctor. Uh, they can have a personal discussion asking about specific trials, but I think that's also, this day and age, you can get access from specific sources on the internet. I think another one of the good examples is going to be uh, the National Cancer Institute uh, clinicaltrials.gov. It'll list all these clinical trials available for a specific type of disease, but really to put it in perspective, you need to talk to your physician who knows your disease that can guide you and what's the best options would be. Nowadays, nearly every state has passed laws where insurance companies have to pay for participation in clinical trials. The reality is the data suggests that clinical trials are no more expensive and often are less expensive than trying to treat with the standard of care.